Okay, I'm back out here in my shop this morning, and I'm going to try to put the uh, last few little details on this uh, duplicator that I'm uh, working on. I'm going to first. I'm going to uh, make a handle to go across here between these two pivot wheels, so that we'll all lock these uh, these three in together, and they'll all move the same, and it'll give me a little more control when moving this thing back and forth, and and also using the tilt. Uh, the second thing I've got to do is, as you can see, I'm using a full-size router here, which probably weighs, I don't know, four, five, six pounds, something like that. So I'm going to have to build a uh, some kind of a counterweight here that kind of hangs off the back to, uh, to make this worse a, a little easier to move up and down. Uh, and then the third thing is I've got to design a way to attach my stylus uh, over here, and I also want to make that where it's uh, easy to you know maybe just loosen a bolt and slide it up and down and uh, change out different diameters and that kind of thing. So those are the three things that I'm going to be working on today, and uh, let's get started. Okay, I've got all my pieces cut for my handle, and I've kind of mocked up my uh, little uh, counterweight part here. I'm just basically going to make a little box. And I've got some of this uh, three-quarter rod that's just some short pieces, and I'm probably going to cut them off so that they could, they'll fit inside that box. And uh, these are pretty heavy, so I think I can probably put enough of those in there to uh, offset the weight of the, the router. And what I did, I don't have a, uh, a dado blade or anything, so but I just uh, very carefully just used my regular table saw blade and uh, made this piece and kind of snuck up on it here to make sure I got got this right but that's going to go on and be my little handle uh, before I uh, start mounting all this stuff on to the duplicator uh, I'm gonna take my pencil and mark the edges that I want to round over because I'm going to set my router back up in my router table and do a little round over one on this handle and make it a little more comfortable to to hold and basically just to try to make it look a little nicer on the, this part uh, here so I'm just going to take my pencil and mark the edges uh, that I want to round over and uh, make sure that I don't uh, just so I don't screw up and, and get crazy going crazy over there on the router table and round over something that I don't that I don't want to round over so I'm going to uh, set the router table up and get that done and then uh, I'll turn the camera back on when I get ready to assemble all this stuff to the duplicator okay so I came up with a way to uh, get a good uh, stylus here that I wanted to show you uh, I'm actually going to move the camera down here so you can get a good close-up of this and see uh, see exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, I've got the camera moved down here where I can get some good close-ups uh, to show you what I did. Uh, I needed to come up with a way to put a mount of stylus on here. And I've got something that I think is going to work really nice. And uh, fortunately, because these all have this little flat spot on it, you can get everything... Uh, the same and then I've got you know I've already showed you my handle on here but what I did is if, if any of y'all watched the uh, part one video of this build you remember that I was showing on my CNC how I messed up one of these when it came loose and and the CNC router started to chew it up a little bit well this was uh, what that was that piece and what I did is I drew a center line here and this was the original flat and then I just kind of use my disc center to round out that spot where it kind of had a little messed up spot there and then I took a, uh, a little round uh, end mill and I think you can see that how I made this slot and what I did I took some half inch rod that I had here in my shop and I uh, chucked it up in my drill and then ran it on my disc sander the whole time I'm spinning it around so I've got kind of the same profile as I do my half inch uh, round uh, round nose bit so uh, this will actually fit down in here you know you can adjust it however, however far down you want it hanging and then I've got this little piece and I also put just a little bit of a uh, use that round nose bit on that to get where I can lock down this stylus and then this all goes just like so so I'm going to shut the camera off for a second and I'll uh, hook all this up and then turn it back on to show you how it looks when it's all assembled okay I've got this all assembled now so you can see how the uh, stylus it's just basically held in there with a rounded over groove and also on this little bracket but there's just enough gap there so that when I tighten it up 
that will stay uh, right where I want it to stay. And you can see also that I've got this kind of rounded over, hopefully to match or pretty close match the uh, profile of my uh, half inch round over bit. So next I'm going to mount the, uh, the little counterweight box that I made and I'll show you that up close when I get that mounted on. Okay, here's a, uh, a straight on shot. You can see I've got the router mounted in there and then I've also got my, uh, my uh, stylus over here. And you can see now that I've added that counter balance on the back there, it's uh, much easier to uh, much easier to handle when you're trying to tilt this thing and move it around. Uh, let me uh, move the camera here so you can see. I'll give you an overhead shot here of how I did my uh, my counterweight box. Okay, I think I've got where you can uh, get a good shot of, of how the uh, counterweight works. You can see I just made this simple little, uh, you know, some rails here, and I just made a little box, uh, and I just put a couple of through holes here, and I've got it mounted to this cross member right here. And I think I've got five of those uh, three-quarter round, and those are cut off to about seven and a half inches. And uh, I think they, they do a really good job of... Uh, balancing the weight of this thing. Uh, I took these off, uh, ran into my garage, and cut them off where they fit in this box, and then I've got just a little bit of room, so I just put a little wedge there, so as I'm moving this around, they won't roll around, and if I keep them tilted to the back, it's just very light. I mean, it's very easy to move, so, so that worked out quite nice. So, Okay, so that's going to do it for my uh, duplicator slash copy carver uh, assembly here. Uh, I, I'm really, uh, really happy with the way this thing turned out. I think it's going to work really good. Uh, now I've got to come up with something to, uh, to test it out. And really the main reason I wanted to build one of these was to uh, try to duplicate guitar bodies and uh, guitar necks and, and maybe some gun stocks or something like that. Uh, if any of you have watched uh, any of my other videos, you may have seen me that I uh, will build a cigar box guitar every once in a while. So I was thinking about maybe trying to come up with a, a template neck and then I can use this to, uh, to make the, uh, the other necks uh, duplicate those. So we'll see how that, how, how that goes. But I'm anxious to try this thing out and I'm, I'm sure I'll have the video camera fired up when I get ready to try this out. But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please do. Uh, I've got uh, several, uh, several projects coming up that uh, you might be interested in um, this spring and summer. Uh, so, uh, you know, come back and, and watch for those. Uh, if you like what you're seeing in these videos, please click the like button. And if you don't like what you're seeing in these videos, Please leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see, and uh, we'll try to try to make something that uh, that you want to see. So anyway, that's going to do it for this one, and we'll talk to you next time.